So our top story is the Microsoft Surface Go. And frankly speaking, I'm going to tell you my opinion right at the top, then we'll go into a detailed review. First and foremost, Microsoft Surface products. Always thought they were great because, you know, Windows, while it's a very interesting operating system, one of the biggest problems was that Apple always had better hardware, better looking, sleeker, everything was just more Apple-ish. And therefore, if you were a Windows person, you usually used a laptop which had a few problems, a few shortcomings. You never felt that you were using something very sophisticated or stylish. Well, that has changed, but the real change came when Microsoft got into the Surface product series. And from within that, one of the most portable one has always been the Surface Go. Now they've changed it around for this year. What they've come up with this time is fantastic. This is a complete laptop in itself, so it's not a detachable. The tablet part of it doesn't come off or something like that, which is what I like. So I think ultra portable should be like that. Number two, very thin, very light. Number three, very importantly, it's got pretty much the horsepower you require for an ultra portable. And the last part that I have to talk about, which is very important, is Microsoft's greatest problem has always been that they kind of always make their products too expensive. And by the time they come into India, they become ridiculous. This one starts at about 60,000 rupees plus plus, which I think is great. But is everything great about this? Let's find out. After years of experimenting and launching exclusive Microsoft products, the legendary brand finally found success with their Surface lineup. Banking on that, the tech giant has introduced a new compact laptop under the Surface brand. The Surface Laptop Go is an ambitious project that promises to pack in performance and design. Today on the show, we are reviewing the high-end variant of this, the Surface Go laptop. So without any further ado, let's get straight to it. Microsoft has carried forward their minimalist design language in their latest portable laptop. The Surface Go comes in the brand's signature dual-tone outlay. The lid is in a grey finish and the plastic base is off-white. Microsoft is calling this colour scheme the Platinum. The minimalism continues when it comes to connectivity options. You get just a single USB Type-A port, a USB Type-C port and fortunately a 3.5mm headphone jack. Thanks to the compact design, this laptop is light, like really light at just about 1.1 kilos. But that didn't let us doubt its build quality since it feels sturdy when you work around it. The Surface lineup has been famous for its incredible touch capacitive screens and we can say after our testing that Surface Laptop Go has successfully followed in this footstep. The 12.4 inch pixel sense display is hands down one of the most responsive touch panels that we've used in a while. Be it pinch to zoom or swiping, the panel did not miss out on any command and the feedback was impressive. Beyond that, the screen has a resolution of 1536 by 1024 pixels, which is less given the kind of screens we're getting to see in 2021. Is it disappointing? Well, yes and no. Yes, because as a product, Microsoft could have added a higher resolution display. No, because the general consumer will hardly notice it. Despite the low resolution on paper, we had a great time watching content on it. It was no 4K, but we enjoyed switching between our favorite videos. There is a 720p HD camera on the laptop, which is better than the one we saw on Surface Go 2. It is great for video calls, but at the end of the day, it is a laptop camera. So expecting stellar image quality is not fair with this one as well. Talking about the spec sheet, this compact laptop is powered by a 10th gen Intel Core i5 processor, which is not a powerhouse for performance, but it does a decent job for a machine of this size. In our testing, the Surface Laptop Go was our daily driver, with our activities ranging from internet surfing to emails and a wide variety of institutional work. Not so surprisingly, we didn't face any lags or heating. Credit for this smooth performance can be given to the 8GB of RAM on our variant, which amplifies the performance of the mid-range processor on board. But not everything is great under the hood. The Surface Laptop Go comes with just 256GB of SSD storage on board, which is definitely fast, but it limits the user with its storage capacity. Now, there is a touchscreen display on this laptop, but we found ourselves depending on the good old keyboard. The one on this laptop is in a classic chiclet style and boy, it was fun working on it. The keys are soft and the travel time is on point. One drawback though, it is not backlit, which is disappointing given this laptop is pitched as a premium machine. 
battery life on the Surface Go laptop is its underrated USB. We were getting a mileage of a good 5 hours in moderate to heavy use which is great given its size. And it's time for our verdict. Microsoft Surface Laptop Go is a classic example of a near perfect product. If the company wouldn't have cut corners in basic features like a backlit keyboard, a better display or more storage, this very well would have been in the category of the product of the year. That being said, starting at 63,499 rupees, it is a great laptop if you want to enter the pure Microsoft Surface ecosystem.